as you can see, Miss Pro, Miss Thang, okay, whatever, is in a wash and go, y'all. Okay, she is in her little TWA wash and go. What in the world? I have not seen my hair like this in a really long time. And y'all know, y'all know, if y'all been following this channel, I'm talking like 2012, 2013. I was always, once I learned how to do them, a fan of the wash and go. Okay, I know that there was a lot of controversy back in the day. You couldn't do wash and goes on this hair type. Okay, what? That was not the case. Um, and I, this has been like my favorite way to rock my hair. And I have not been able to wear it consistently this way because of all the hair loss and all of the nonsense, okay? So I actually did cut quite a bit of my hair. And I do have some really embarrassing footage that I'm going to share with you. Um, but yeah, I have to do something, y'all. Now, I do have a headband on, so this is covering up what's missing up here. But as you can see, my hair still <laughs> coils up. She still looks the same. It's just when it's in twist outs and everything and stretched, it looks really rough. <laughs> so um, it's going to be a process. Somebody had asked in a comment, um, you know, if I'm having thinning and if I have hair loss, why would I cut my hair? So basically, I have had an enormous amount of hair thinning all over and obviously I have patches that are more so missing um but because I have such high shrinkage a lot of it gets camouflaged so the reason I needed to cut my hair and what would be beneficial for me is it would cut down on the amount of tangling because when your hair is falling out and then it's trying to grow back in, you end up with so many different lengths. It's just crazy. Like short pieces, long pieces, pieces that are trying to come in and with very tightly coiled, fine strands. Oh my gosh. The detangling is like a nightmare. Okay. So I couldn't even unravel my twists without them getting stuck. I would have to twist my hair and then before going to bed, like after they dried, I would take them out and retwist them just to make sure that when I unravel them, they wouldn't be tangled. Who, who has the time to constantly be doing that? I mean, I guess I made time for it over the past, like what, almost four years. <laughs> I did end up leaving a lot of the thin areas on the top of my hair just to give me some height for right now. But honestly, y'all, I'm probably gonna have to bring it down. It's a work in progress. I'm excited that I'm able to wear her like this. I'm going to hopefully be able to do this more often just to give my hair a break from twisting um, and give me a break from twisting. I basically just put, um, I separated the top from the bottom like of how I cut my hair with a satin like ribbon <laughs> to keep my top separated from the bottom so it wouldn't like mingle yet because I still probably need to go in and correct the cut. Um, and I just put my satin bonnet on y'all and that was it. I went to sleep. That was it. That's it. I need that. I need that time back. The wash and go life is, is it. Okay. <laughs> So 
I think it's time. For right now, I'm just gonna twist this up. Whatever is left, it reminds me of when I was transitioned. It's like dead. It literally just died. I have no density left. This is just a shell. I've been here before when I was anemic and I've been told I gotta get my ferritin up and I can't do it if I keep bleeding and I'm just super sad that this happened to me again again y'all again subconscious than I already am right now. So. Alright, I'm literally cutting this because y'all, it just came out of some flat twist so it's all weird and spacey but um, this ain't it. This ain't it. I, I, we're, it's time. Please excuse me, I have really bad allergies this morning. It was a rough night sleeping. My hair looks a lot thicker when it's uh, wet. This is all stretched out and it just looks, it looks way worse than it actually is right now. Um, but regardless, it doesn't matter. It's all messed up. Okay. Doesn't have a problem growing. It has a problem staying on my head, okay? <laughs> and in case you're wondering why my twist looks so large in the front, it's because I, for the surgery, the fibroid surgery, I put some yarn I added some yarn to my hair to do like an updo. Um, yeah, so it was cute. <laughs> and hopefully I have enough hair to do something like that again in case this does not go well. But um, yeah, it was cute. I'm probably, I don't even know how many inches this is. Whatever. And again, I've cut it. Like I've cut it like a couple weeks ago. I trim it all the time, okay? I don't really know exactly how I'm gonna do this. I typically prefer to kind of press my hair out with flat iron, blow it out or something to make sure it's even. But, you know, I have gel and stuff in my hair, so I'm just gonna probably do a rough, wet trim of some sort. Or cut, excuse me. We're not trimming anything, we're cutting, okay? <laughs> um, but I'm gonna try to revert this a bit and see what we're working with. Um, the interesting thing is the last time I was twisting my hair, it literally was a clear indicator as to where I should cut. It's about six inches um, long, so it kind of looks like I'm transitioning again, okay? So that's probably what I'm going to end up doing to start. Ideally, I want the back shorter than the top, but again, the top is kind of missing, <coughs> so... I don't know what I'm going to end up doing, y'all, okay? So this is really short. 
I'm probably at about six inches. Um, I got a little bit emotional because it's not the length that's bothering me. It's more just, this has been such a roller coaster, you know? And again, I've done this seemingly a thousand times at this point. Um, but it's one thing to be forced into doing things versus, you know, just kind of doing it because you want to. Um, so there's some frustration, but it's okay. Uh, my shrinkage is happening. Again, it's not like completely going on or anything, but, um, and my curl pattern is not doing what it typically would do once it's washed. So I'm excited to see what it's going to do once I wash it. Okay, I'm super tired. It literally has been like almost four hours of a process. And no, obviously it doesn't take that long to cut, but um, I had to kind of map things out and decide on if I wanted to take the chance of cutting it damp or wet because again, I was coming out of that protective style and had to detangle and the whole nine. But anyways, um, Miss Fro looks cute right now. Um, it's in, it's probably at about like a year's worth of growth. Um, again, like six inches in the back. The top is still too long for what I think I need to do, but my hair shrinks really flat if it's too short. And um, I mentioned like years ago on the channel that <laughs> that was an issue and I would have to take the blow dryer and like lift it because it just shrinks so flat right here. Um, so I was trying not to go into length shock and um, I left more than I need to or should have. Um, so I'm still kind of in a transition up there. Also, I'm feeling like y'all, honestly, I want to get rid of this. I still want to get rid of this eye because this is giving cute, but I kind of want to just go back to what I had way like five years ago or something and just get rid of more of this. So bring this even lower, but I'm super tired right now and I'm going to shower and see how this turns out because my shrinkage is real and it's going to look much shorter than this <laughs> so i'm going to just take a break and just see what i'm working with because I've been here before. I don't think this is like, it's not horrible. I just don't feel like vibing, if that makes sense. I don't know. To be honest, um, the first style I did was a twist out um, when I cut my hair and I was kind of like, not really feeling it like that. I just kind of felt like it was a little blade out probably because I had rocked it like that for so long. But in my wash and go, I feel a lot better. It's a bit tighter and not like as see-through and whatever the twist out is doing right now. Again, it looks fine on camera, but in person, the thinness is just, it's just sharing too much right now, right? Having it more compact is more beneficial for me, so. <laughs> and the uh, the curls that I can create with my texture I need to see what it's really like okay I need to be able to rock what she really like all right it's closest to my natural curl pattern as possible is my favorite so I can't be the only one who feels like that but whatever Chloe <laughs> I didn't even know you came in here hey you want to say hi say hi Say hi. <gasps> no, you didn't. Come say hi. Say hi. Okay. You always get too close. They can't see you if you're like all the way over here. Say bye. Oh my gosh. You are so unbothered. <laughs>